nobody like me, yeah. It's not radio listening. It's the sunlight experience. Your rhythm brings to life. To life. Oh, 
for a crown. Yes, I cherish and really cherish the old ragged world. We and this change it someday.
nothing impossible Nothing impossible What can't you do? What won't you do? Nothing impossible with our God You do not lie, you do not fail What is hard for you to do? It doesn't exist though It can never ever exist though You do not lie, you do not fail What is hard for you to do? It doesn't exist though It can never ever exist though According to your knowledge and your will for me What you said you've done, I just need to align, no Because you are not a man that changes your mind, oh Those that know you will trust in you Not in horses and chariots But a arm of flesh, no man can prevail No man, no man, no man, no man My confidence is you What is hard, what is hard for you We can never resist though You do not lie, you do not fail What is hard for you to do It doesn't exist though It can never ever exist though You do not lie You do not feel what is hard for you to do. It doesn't exist, so it can never ever exist, though. Amen. God is so beautiful. <laughs> so, yeah, just for you guys. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. What a wonderful morning already. Beloved, wherever you are connecting from, just lift up your voice and let's magnify the name of the Lord. Uh, like I keep on saying, this is the day that the Lord has made and we're going to rejoice and be glad in it because God has made us glad to see a brand all over the globe, wherever you are connecting from. Please do me a fair like button, share, invite your family invite your friends, invite your loved ones someone out there needs to connect with us this morning because it's a season of divine assistance, I, I don't know what the enemy have tried to fight and defeat you before or now, but this morning I'm sure to and the Lord is about to give you the divine if you can hear my voice shout out who you are, wherever you are connecting from, I'm, I'm sure that This is about to become very victorious because the Lord has prepared a table before you in the presence of your enemies not take you out of what the Lord has designed for you. It is your time. It is your hour. It is, it is your season. It is your season. I repeat, it is season to rejoice. It is your season to celebrate and where you are join you to celebrate because the Lord has sent help from above to you you are about to experience before in this season in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I'm sure every form of action this morning the Lord is about that the evil ones program and said that you'll be put to shame in this season And in the the Lord is about to. The Bible says, I and the sons that the Lord have given to me, the children the Lord have given to me in Zion. Isaiah said, and this morning I came to announce that you are for signs and wonders in the mighty name. Every agenda of darkness, every programming of the evil, every activation from the pit of hell. I came to announce that the Lord will, but will give you help in the dimension that you have never ever experienced in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Wherever you are connecting from, beloved, this morning, I'm here to announce to you that as we get online, as we pray, as we watch. You. Hallelujah. The Lord will not 
pass you by this morning. The Lord will not pass you by this morning. There's a visitation coming your way. There's a change of story that you're about to experience. My God is about to supply all that you have ever think of, like a need, according to his riches in glory, because it's your season of divestance. I don't know who you are under that voice the reality in your life but this morning i'm very sure that the lord will give you some dimension of this not seen before in your life remember second Corinthians, first corinthians chapter nine what eyes have not seen what ears have not heard is i repeat it is what the lord is ready that is what the lord is about to do for you I see you all. I see Maria. I see John, Daniel, John, Chris, Jordan, Georgina. Is what a wonderful be with you this morning. I'm very sure that the Lord is ready to a dimension of His love. A test and see. For the Lord is good this morning. You're about to see the goodness of the Lord. You're about to experience a new dimension of God's glory, a new dimension of God's wherever you are, on YouTube, on Facebook, on Sunlight Radio America, wherever you are connecting from, just lift up your voice and let's begin the name of the Lord. Let's begin to magnify the name of the Lord. Oh, have you before? It says, let's enter his thanksgiving and it's caught with praise. that your visitation is here. Someone is receiving divine assistance and divine help this morning in the mighty name of Christ. Whatever the enemy said, whatever the devil said, that will not happen in your life. To rest assured you that it isn't God is about to do something new. That the Lord is about to do something new for you. It's about to turn an encounter that they have not seen before. Oh, Mama Rosemont, you are welcome this morning. And Johnson, David Hall, all of you, you are welcome. Ron, let just type your name so that I can see and welcome you to this live devotion this morning because I know it's a life transforming devotion. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter sixty, verse one, arise, shine, for it has come. And the glory, that glory, that glory shall be seen upon you. That glory that the scripture says has been risen upon you. This morning it will be upon you visible. Uh, you will see the glory uh, things to your brightness. Uh, the rising of you this morning uh, is a rising to help. Uh, God is about to correct you with that glory. In the name of Jesus. Beloved, this is a God of glory that is going to be very visible. Huh? It is a glory that attracts men. Huh? It is a glory that contention. Huh? And this morning I came to prophesy into someone's life that as you join us this morning, the Lord is about to give you a dimension of His glory that will begin to attract men to you. That will attract the divine assistance that you need. Huh? I don't know who you are, but that handwriting of rejection today on there. That handwriting of slandering, uh, today it is condemned. Uh, it is written in the volume of the book concerning you. Uh, uh, if the Bible can record in the Christ of verse 9 that the cause that Jesus Christ sat upon was written in the volume of the book, how much more you and me? Uh, I don't know you are, but this morning I came to announce to you that the Lord is about to give you a mention of help uh, that you have never seen and experienced before in, in the name in the book of Psalm 728, uh, Psalm 28 verse 7 says, um, the Lord is, is my strength. Mm. The Lord is my strength and my shield. I have trusted in him and I am helped. I had trusted in him and I'm helped according to Psalms 28 verse 7. This morning I wanted to know that if your heart can trust in the Lord, uh, there's going to be a dimension of help. I've never experienced coming your way, uh, beloved. What thing the Lord is about to help you uh, if only you put your trust in Him, uh, if only 
only trust him uh, wherever you are this morning uh, whatever is the situation uh, whatever is the challenge uh, whatever is the conspiracy whatever is the agenda of darkness uh, Fear not, uh, for the Lord uh, is your strength. The Lord uh, is your uh, is your shield. Uh, and if your heart can trust the Lord this morning, uh, I'm sure you're about to experience uh, that dimension of help uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, do you remember the uh, the, the lost church that Pastor Clara has given to us on Monday uh, he, he, when he was talking about the widow that had come to Prophet Elisha, he, he took the jar of her and began to pour into vessels that were put what happened? Because she trusted the man of God. Every time she lifted up the jar, the jar was connected to a hose that a tanker of supply, visible tanker, was by a and she kept pouring on all the vessels. And when she get to the vessel, the last one, the oil stayed because there was no more vessels. All the manifestations of that dimension of help was she trusted in the Lord. This morning, someone under the voice, as we agree with the brother, as you trust the Lord, the Lord will help you. As you trust the Lord, Lord, uh, the Lord is going to help you mightily. A dimension of help uh, that they have not seen before. A dimension of help uh, that have not been in your family before is about to happen in your life. Uh, and says about in your life uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, if only you can trust the Lord. Uh, oh, the womb, the man, and the son was taken with the spirit of death and dumb. He said, Lord Jesus, I, I know that all things are possible with you, but please help my unbeliever. I don't know the answer that you are. Maybe you are like the woman that went to Elisha, or maybe you are like the man that was taken with the spirit of death and dumb. And you want to say, Lord, this morning, after this morning devotion, help my unbeliever, because this morning, the Lord is about to help someone. The Lord is about to transform lives of someone. The word, the, the word, divine assistance. It means that when you could not have helped yourself, you have said this couple of times. Peter was locked in the prison and the church prayed. And as they were praying, the Bible said, an angel was All the guard room were locked, but when the angel entered, doors open at will. In case you don't understand, when the Lord is about to help you, you come out of the captivity without bad struggles. You come out of the captivity on hot. This morning, I don't know where to be. I've tried to lock and cage, but I came to announce to you that the Lord is about to help. You, uh, and divine assistance is coming on your way. There's going to be what I call uh, not just divine assistance, but divine intervention uh, in that situation, in that trouble, in that matter, in that crisis. This morning, uh, the Lord is about to help you uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, when the Lord helps a man, uh, doors open at will. Uh, I decree and um, Every closed doors against your destiny. Every closed doors against your life. I stand in agreement with my brother Pastor. I announce to you that right now, every doors that was closed against you, they are open. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, doors are open. Doors are opening. Doors are open. Doors are opening. Revelation chapter 3, verse 6. I am the who is holy and who is true. Uh, everything about me is holy and everything about me is true. Uh, he says something like this. Uh, I, 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 open, I have the keys of David. Uh, when I open, no man can shut. And when I shut, no man can open. Uh, I was the Lord pull me into this stream. Uh, that doors are open for someone. Uh, I don't know who you are. But doors uh, are opening this morning. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, doors that you could not open. By your own ability, by your own capacity, this morning uh, is going to open doors for you. Uh, a dimension of doors uh, that you have known before uh, to open for you in the mighty name uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, a new dimension of door, a door of blessing, uh, a door of promotion, uh, a door of encounter, a door of breakthrough, a door of visitation. 
that is opening for someone in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Wherever you are, on that the sound of our voice, get ready. Get ready, it's your season of open doors. When the Lord helps, doors must open. Doors of favor, doors of encounter. I don't know who you are, but this more the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 4 to verse 5. That find favor and understanding in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not unto thy own understanding. This I'm going to trust the Lord. I see the doors of favor. I see the breakthrough. Doors are open in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I came this morning excited because I'm sure that there's going to be a divine help coming your way, divine assistance. The Lord is about to think for you. The Lord is about to trigger a dimension for you. What the enemy said, it cannot happen in your life. What the enemy says is impossible in your life. To, to know that is about to do something for you this morning. Beloved, I don't know if you have come across Psalms 112, 21 before, uh, verse 2. Uh, I, I want to stay a little uh, so under 21 verse 2 it says my help come from the lord which make it heaven and earth my help did not come from man it didn't come from the north or from the south but my help come from the lord i don't know who you are this morning send you help in the mighty name of jesus christ help 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 that men cannot explain help that men cannot deny you know there are things that happens in your life is feasible is tangible is touchable uh, men can see that uh, men cannot deny that uh, it becomes unexplainable uh, yet undeniable uh, when the lord helps a man uh, it becomes unexplainable yet undeniable uh, i just have a brother that on sunday the wife for the past 18 Yes, put to bed. She has not given bed before, but as she's given bed, she put to bed a triplet. Oh, it is unbelievable, but yet undeniable because you can see the pictures, you can see what the Lord have done, you can touch it. I don't know what the enemy have done in your but this morning, the Lord is about to give you triple for your is about to give you double for your son, it's gonna help you. A dimension that you have not experienced before. My help coming from the Lord. Make it heaven and earth. Psalm 24 verse 1 says, This is the Lord and the fullness. If the Lord can heaven and earth, He's going to help you. That means heaven that comes to your way must help you because the Lord created everything. That means means a weather must be of favorable condition to you that means men must be of help to you. that everyone that comes your way must be of help to you that means even the creatures must be of help to you i don't know who you are that i'm talking to in this season of divine assistance we decree and declare according to job 22 verse 28 that your help is established in the mighty name of jesus god my god or rather your father will help you in this season. I don't know where the enemy said that you'll be put to shame. But I came to announce that in this season, divine assistance is already at your door knocking. Something new is about to your life. As I'm praying, the Lord is saying, is the one that frustrates the tokens and the devices of the crafty so that their hands uh, cannot perform their enterprises according to Job 5 12. Uh, I decree on the unction uh, that every delay in your life um, is terminated in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Oh beloved, and the enemy said, I don't know what was programmed. I don't know what has been activated against your destiny, but I came to tell you this morning that form of limitations been around your life, every form of hindrances that been alive. My God, your God is your divine help. And this morning, what 
whatever delays, whatever hindrances, whatever limitations, I demand that by the message of God, by the help of God, let it be destroyed, let it be nullified. Someone today, the Lord is about to help you and pull things off your path. I said the Lord is about to help you and destroy every negative every negative disaster that you've been facing daily because of the Lord is about to pull out of the plans of the enemy about to pull you out of the conspiracies of the one I don't know where you are but the time has come because you need someone is in past or mention that I need a financial help this morning I trust the Lord for you that there will be in provision to meet all your needs in the name of Jesus have you not considered have you not heard that the God of Kumuri the one that Pastor Clarence calls the one that helps is the maker of heaven and earth the God that we call every day on this is the maker of heaven and earth I don't know who you are but when the enemy Thing that they're about to pull you out when the enemy thought that they will kill you, the Lord sent help to David that same way this morning. Oh, I see a dimension of the divine assistance in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, man of God. What are you saying? I came to announce that when we prophetically declare the Lord establishes, practically, you have entered a season that your life must be held by the supreme being the creator of the universe the one that have david the one that close and no one can open it opens and no one can close every chapter that the enemy taught that have closed in your life that chapter of your blessings that chapter of your breakthrough that chapter of your turnaround that chapter of your divine assistance we announce that this morning the lord is helping you in the mighty name of Jesus hey, beloved this morning I'm sure that the Lord is ready to turn us around by of his own power I don't know where you are but I want to tell you this that God is sending you help this morning in the mighty name of Jesus oh hallelujah beloved in few minutes Mr. Clarence will join us. He's been held up in an engagement, but I'm sure that you have that he is going to speak to you this morning. But before then, I want you to know that you have had a season that the Lord of Psalm 20, verse 2 help is coming your way from Zion. He will send help to you from his sanctuary, from this altar of me. I came to announce that the Lord is about to say to you, according to Psalms 20 verse 2, uh, you are saying, Pastor, where is this help uh, going to come from? Uh, I came to declare and announce to you this morning uh, that the help is coming from this altar, this morning devotion, uh, this place you come every morning uh, to fellowship. Uh, uh, the Lord about to send help from his sanctuary is about to strengthen you I decree in the name of Jesus help is coming your way help is coming your way in your marriage in your office in your family help is coming your way in the name of Jesus Christ ah wherever you are connecting wherever you are connecting from I want you to know that help is about to come your way in the mighty name hey, help is coming your way help 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 i mean help from above i mean help from above help is coming your way 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 in the mighty name of jesus christ whosoever you are the enemy has programmed activated the agenda and has concluded that they will take you out this morning i came to tell you the help is coming straight to the sanctuary of the lord in jesus name beloved have you read that scriptures before have you seen it when the lord helps a man he strengthens you maybe they made up saints morning the lord 
God is sending healing help to you this morning and receive strength in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Help is coming. Ah, hallelujah. Oh, beloved, something right now on this altar. I, I can feel it already. I can feel it already. Someone is saying, I been trying to Lord. I know that I need help, but where is this self? I don't have any hope for the help to come. I don't know where this help is coming from. I came to tell you, according to Psalms 20 verse 2, the help is coming from from this altar of community. Help is your way. I don't know who you are. Can you hear your voice? I said, Father, thank you for sending help away. I see a scenario when there's a reinforcement Enforcement that comes uh, it is what I'm seeing. Uh, someone under the sound of a voice. Uh, God wants to reinforce your help this morning. Uh, you have been in the war front. Uh, you've been on every side. Uh, but this morning, uh, the Lord is about a reinforcement of help. Uh, someone you're about to think a mention of uh, that I call a reinforcement. Uh, the Lord is about to reinforce uh, the help coming your way in the mighty name of Jesus. I say you will not miss it. Uh, I say you will not miss it. Uh, a divine help is coming your way. A dimension of I said it's coming your way. The Lord is about to do something new. The Lord is about to turn things around for your life. You are about to experience for in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, hallelujah. I feel it already. Someone under the side of my family out of this altar this morning uh, in the mighty name of Jesus uh, coming to you uh, help is coming to your family I say help is coming to you uh, I say help to your family in the mighty name of Jesus but this the Lord is signing something new the Lord is transforming on your land uh, is giving you that dimension. Uh, it's called divine assistance. Uh, uh, wherever you are, strength is coming upon you. Uh, strength to finish that assignment. Uh, strength to fulfill your destiny. I say strength uh, is released. My name of Jesus. Uh, I say strength already released for someone uh, in the mighty name uh, of Jesus Christ. Uh, you're about to enjoy uh, a new dimension of strength uh, because it's the season of your help. I say it is the season of your help. The enemy plan you are untimely. The enemy plan to put you in shame. The sanctuary of the Lord is the access, is the altar of strength. And this morning the Lord sent from the altar of community into your life, into your destiny. Where if you have been looking for help, maybe you've cried and said, Lord, help me. This is your season of help. And I come to prophesy into your life that you'll not miss this help in the mighty name of Jesus. Have you ever come across Psalm 54, verse 4? Hallelujah. It says, Behold, God is my helper. The Lord is with those who uphold my life. I don't know who you are. Psalm 54, verse 4 is about to become a reality. In your life, is my help. When men say there's a casting down, I will lift up my eyes and say, There is a lifting up. The Lord is my helper. Yes, sir. I don't know who you are. Mm. Maybe the enemy thought that I'm about to put you off. Maybe thought that I'm yes, about to take you out. Mm. In the name of Jesus. The Lord. Lord. It's my help. Yes, sir. It's my help. The Lord is my help. They will kill you. Mm. They thought you'd be buried. Come on. They say you not have what to eat. Welcome, my beloved brother. Amen. God bless he you. Says, the Lord is my help. Mm. In this state of the balance, you will not look on the Bible mess me to know. Yes, sir. That woe unto man mm. that looks unto another man. For I will not see when the help comes. It's like a 
parts uh, that do not enjoy uh, mm. the blessings of the Lord. Uh, the Lord says this morning, uh, I am your helper. Come on. According to Psalm 54, verse 4, mm. the Lord is about to help you beyond your lesson, beyond your comprehension. It's mm. your understanding. It's about to help your family. Yes, Lord. It's about to help your children. Yes, Lord. It's about to do something Send help, Lord. in your land. Mm. I love the way that we put it in Psalm 46, verse 4. Mm -hmm. He says that the Lord is my helper mm. in the very present, very present help in, in trouble. Yes. Yes. You know, you're in a bad, you're in a place mm. that you don't know come out. Mm. I came to a start. What is our refuge? Mm. Look at that last sentence. Mm. God. A, a very present help in trouble. Mm. A very present divine assistant. Come on. In trouble. He knows when to show mm. for you. He knows when the enemy of plan. He knows the plot of the wicked. Mm. He knows the gender of that. He says, mm. the Lord, a very present <laughs> oh, come help on. in trouble. Yes, sir. You know the trouble huh, that you might have found yourself with. Come on. I don't know who you are mm. you are saying lord mm. i cannot this mm. i don't understand mm. you i don't know how to do it mm. lord please i need that help yes lord i came to help that mm. the lord will help your very present yes lord time of trouble in the wars in the that the enemy thought you will pull out the lord on your behalf mm. this is he's present way. you will not be he's present my God, come on. When help comes, uh, he handles fear. Mm. I have a very short charge to give, but this atmosphere come is already charged for prayer. Yes, sir. When help comes, yes, in Psalm 40, in I 1 verse 10, he uh, has to know in times of fear, mm. uh, in, uh, in the enemy has activated their arsenals. Mm. Uh, the Lord will send help. The Lord will send help. Uh, the Lord will be quite your help. Mm. I do. Uh, I came to Sir Isaiah mm -hmm. chapter forty-one verse ten. I mm -hmm. verse ten. Uh, they are about to enter that dimension of help. Uh, they are Fear about not. to experience uh, Fear not. that dimension of help uh, Fear that they have not seen before. For I am with thee. So, so fear thou not, mm -hmm. for I am with thee. Mm -hmm. Be not dismayed. Mm -hmm. I don't know where this is that your immigration status. Oh. Uh, they come under questions mm. uh, and fear has been brooding. Uh, mm. I know my God, uh, mm. our God is about to help you. Don't know the terror. Uh, maybe you are that the devil and you said, uh, Is it gonna be how, how will I pay this bill? Uh, mm. Or uh, that people uh, your mortgage is up, uh, mm. or maybe your rent is due. Uh, mm. Maybe you have some things that you have been put. So maybe there's a fear of unknown. Mm. He says, Fear thou not, fear thou not. for I am with thee. Mm. Be not dismayed, for, for I am thy God. Yes. I, yeah, I will help thee. Mm. I don't know who you are. This morning, you. Mm. The Lord will help you, mm. and the Lord will also uphold it with the right hand of my righteousness. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Awesome. Mm. Enemy said, uh, we are about to cut you off. Uh, Come on. When the kingdom of darkness says, uh, let's cross him out. Mm. Uh, fear comes uh, and mm. terror. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Uh, I will strengthen you. Mm. I help you. Uh, I will hold you. Uh, with my righteous. With my right hand uh, of righteousness. Mm. Uh, this morning, you're about to experience that dimension. In the mighty name of Jesus, mm. man of God, I came with a very brief charge. Mm -hmm. uh, I would like you to read for me uh, the book of Samuel, Second Samuel, mm -hmm. chapter 21, all the way from verse 15 to verse 17. Uh, I want to look at the divine assistance that came to the way of David at the time mm -hmm. that the enemy was too sure that it's going to be crushed out. All right. Please go on, sir. Hallelujah. The word of the Lord, Second Samuel chapter 21, beginning at verse 15, New King James. When the yes, Philistines were at war again with Israel, mm. David and his servants mm. with him went down and fought against the Philistines. And David grew That's right. faint. David grew faint. Verse mm. 16. Then mm. Ishbi Benob, who was one of the sons of the giant, the weight of whose mm. bronze spear was 300 shekels, who was bearing a new sword. Mm. Thought he will kill mm. David. Mm. Continue. Verse now. Yes, verse 17. But Abishai, the son of Zeruel, 
came to his aid and struck down the Philistine and killed him. Then the men of David swore to him, saying, You shall go out no more with us to battle. Uh, least you quench the <laughs> lamp of Israel. <laughs> oh, man. man of God, the Bible recorded that it's weak. So there are times that mighty men of war gets weak. Mm -hmm. The Bible says David works faint. Yes. If you look at the King James Version, verse 15, it says David works faint. Mm -hmm. So in the target of that war, David works faint. Mm -hmm. He was he has come on. This is a man that fought battles. Yes, sir. He, he, he can win all the battles. Mm -hmm. But this time in the war front, mm -hmm. David completely weak and the enemy man of god when you look at verse it was uh, the highest thing that would have happened uh, mm. because from the family of the giant uh, all right which was of the sons of the giant mm. and it, it now has fled uh, the, the the weight of his spear now is uh, what has happened he said uh, he guided with a new sword mm. Not an old son, it was too short. Mm. He thought to have slain David. Come on, it was too short that it's gonna kill David. I don't know who you are. Yes, Lord. The enemy is too short that's about to kill you. It's too short. The enemy is too short mm. that's gonna put you up. Mm. That the enemy is too short Come on. that your destiny has been cut off. <laughs> I came to announce in the name of Jesus. Assistance yes, Lord. It's coming to you mm. in the mighty name of, of Jesus. Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. So, as long as the giants were concerned, mm -hmm. the man David was not just a king, mm -hmm. he was a high target All right. that they were looking for because he killed Goliath, he killed their champion. Mm -hmm. So, every time the war came, they were targeting David. Ah. They did not get tired. Come on. Every other day, hey. they kept on coming. Yes, Lord. Because for the man called David, yes, Lord. they were fighting the war. Mm -hmm. And this time, the Verse 15 shows us mm. that David was weak. Oh, no wonder the Bible says, In your weakness shall the strength of the Lord be yes. seen. In turn, it's the glory of the Lord going to be mm. seen. David was completely weak. Mm. It was a time that mm. the giant said, Finally, we have something. I mean. <laughs> oh, 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 he was fainting. Come on. A man was with a sword. We're going to destroy. A, sword, a new sword, man of God. Ah. The Bible record that he was with a new sword mm. and he took the new sword that means I, I i love the king james that means that means he has concluded with david mm. the, the plan for david has been settled already mm. but in the name of Jesus. I'm man of God. I don't know who you are. The Lord is about to give you a divine assistance. Mm. They have concluded and have targeted it. We have succeeded. Mm. We are going to kill her. It's time. In the mighty name of Jesus. This man, they were too confident of one thing that did not escape this time. But suddenly, the Lord, the very present help in terms of trouble, allowed a man and said, Go, fight on his behalf. When men think that they have concluded with you, mm. that brought you out of this. Mm. Mm. The Lord said, In existence, in the mighty name mm. of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. I said, mm. The mighty name of, of Jesus. Jesus Christ. Ah. My God. When you read the scripture says, Then the men of David swore unto him, mm. saying, Thou shalt that thou quench not the light of Israel. Yeah. Remember my at the light mm. of the wall, a city mm. that is set on an hill mm. cannot be hidden. Mm. The enemy is in the name of Jesus. you because you are the light. Mm. I want to repeat that. The enemy is Take it off. The enemy knows that if he can cut you off, mm. he has deemed light. Mm. The enemy knows no my light. 
know your light. He, he knows uh, that they are the light uh, that the world uh, have been waiting for. Mm. So he says, uh, if I can kill David, uh, mm. I will cut up the... Mm. Know my light. The Bible says, know your light. Arise mm. and shine mm. for your light mm. has come. Mm. And the glory mm. of the Lord is risen. is risen upon mm. you. I come to tell you yes, sir. that no matter the blood, mm. no matter the gender, mm. no matter the... Lord, who will find her assistance out of this altar mm. of when men plan to pull you off, mm. when men in the name of Jesus to destroy you, Thank my you. God, our Lord, mm. who send you help, send help in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Send help this morning, Father. We give you praise, man of God. Yes, send help. You see. Verse 17 of 2 Samuel 21. Mm. It is self-explanatory. So, the men of David saw that David escaped there. Mm. That Thank you, Lord Jesus. The Lord sent divine assistance mm. to him. He said, Abishai, mm. the son of Zeruiah, smote the Philistine. Oh. oh, man of God, first and foremost, mm. when the Lord wants to send help to you, mm. you will not. Thank you, Lord. If you can tell the direction of the help, mm -hmm. then it's not of the Lord. All right. That means you did it by your capacity. Okay. David was ready to. Mm. Hallelujah. The giant was too sure mm. that it's going to I have him. David. But from away, I have him. From That's what they say. From mm. did not know mm. that David did not see mm. that it's coming his way. Mm. The Lord released it. My God. I don't know that situation mm. that become gigantic mm. on your path. Mm. I don't know that situation. Yes, sir. That challenge. Mm. Oh, glory. Giant, uh, you've looked at all the ways uh, and no way out of it. Uh, Come on, just that from nowhere, like David was waxing cold, uh, mm. he was fainting, uh, and the Bible recorded the giant was too, too sure. <laughs> But the Lord, uh, according to his word, uh, the very present help in, in times of trouble. Oh, At right time uh, and defended David uh, before I turn over to my brother, I, I prophesy. Uh, mm. Mm. Very challenge uh, mm. in that very battle. Uh, mm. My God uh, mm. will send you help uh, mm. in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Men, uh, mm. men, uh, there was lot of men on your behalf. Yes, sir. Receive them uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, it's coming your way. Oh, glory. So that Yes, Lord. And he became a great host of army mm. this morning in the name of Jesus. Oh, come on. Amen. Come on. In, in my God. Oh, my God. David. Ooh. I'm going. Mm. The giant said, Yes, I'm going to be the killer of oh. David. <laughs> I feel the king. Mm. Kill the one uh, that come after our family. Mm. Uh, let me kill. Uh, by the way, this time uh, David was going out with the sword of the giant. Mm. Sword. Uh, he carried that sword. I don't have time for that. Uh, yes. uh, but this giant came with a new sword. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a brand new sword. Yes. It was too sharp to mm -hmm. accurate. Uh, but the Lord said, uh, "You may have the best AK for the seven. It doesn't you matter. The best P Mm. You may have the best arrows. Mm. You may have the best nuclear weapon. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Protect him. Because my sure covenant of mercy mm. will not depart from David. Come on. So when they... Don't care how potent their weapon may be. Yes, sir. Verse 16 explain the weapon that came against David. Mm. I don't care how powerful their weapons are. I don't care as may be, mm. I came to tell you that the Lord will help you. The Lord will help me. 
the Lord will help me. Yes, sir. As a bread of its mm. from the snare of the Father. The Lord will help me. Yes, Lord. Boiling yeah. Mm. Man of God, please can you come in and help me? Oh my god. Is happening already. Yes, sir. Man of God. Uh, from verse 15 yes. down. This was an immediate help. As you were praying, I, mm. I, I just want to pray along this dimension uh, in the name of the mm. Lord Jesus. Man of God, in Psalm mm. 143. Uh, stay with me for just a few minutes. Uh, somebody need an immediate response right now. You came mm. on the program this morning and said, I don't know where help is coming from. But uh, oh, Pastor yeah, Judas just that. taught us a speed. Man of God, the, the giant thought that I'm about to kill him. So, man of God, there is a time yes, span sir. here. There is a time span yes. that David had. Uh, somebody need to arise quickly. Uh, there, there's not a time mm. to say, I'm waiting tomorrow. Oh, send for reinforcement. Mm. There was an immediate need right now at that particular moment. Uh, if you are here this morning you have come with an immediate need uh, the bible says hear me speedily O lord uh, he said my spirit fail it uh, uh, hide not that face from me least i be like my them that go life. down into the pit uh, i pray for somebody my this life. morning uh, may the lord send you divine assistance right now uh, you have cried for far too long uh, i pray for somebody this morning may yes. the lord hear you speedily may it be a speedy yes. response uh, in the name of the lord jesus yes. uh, father this morning i pray uh, for somebody that has come upon this platform and said pastor Clarence I need a response uh, uh, right now as it happened uh, in the case of David may it happen for you uh, may you receive the phone call may you get the email may you get that that express mail you are looking for I uh, pray for a sudden turnaround uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus uh, a man of God in the book of uh, uh, Jeremiah chapter uh, 1 and verse 12 uh, uh, let me bring this to somebody in the name of the Lord Jesus uh, the Lord at uh, Jeremiah what do you see and then my Bible said, Jeremiah responded. Then mm. the Lord said unto him, Thou hast seen well. He said, For I will hasten, I will hurry, I will be quick for my word to perform it. I don't know what you have been waiting for this morning. And may God hasten to perform that word. If you are looking for healing, and may there be a his divine assistance. May it come to you right now. I don't know what word you have been waiting for. I pray that may the Lord hasten. Man of God, imagine if David was before the giant and nobody came to his aid immediately. The giant would have killed him. That's what the men said. They said, hey David, this thing was too close. It was too close. We don't want you to keep coming to battle. We will go fight that. Uh, it was too close. Uh, I don't know what is too close. Uh, that the enemy thing he has you boxed uh, in. A uh, uh, Bible said uh, uh, that uh, I will yeah, hasten yeah, to yeah, perform yeah. my word. Uh, may the Lord hasten yes. to perform his word. Uh, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Uh, I declare over Amen. this platform. Uh, divine assistance is coming to you. In every area. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Man of God cannot go to Isaiah 58. Uh, uh, my God in verse 8. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, the Bible says. Uh, uh, then shall thy light break forth as the morning. And thy Hell shall, shall spring forth speedily. Oh, with speed, speed, speed. Uh, uh, Pastor Clarence told you at uh, one time I was a speeder in America, but I've slowed down now. I don't speed. I speed in the realm of the spirit. Uh, I don't speed sp uh, physically on the highways anymore. But this is a speed uh, that when God comes, uh, man of God, nobody can give him a ticket. Uh, nobody can stop him. Uh, when he says, I'm coming with speed, uh, it is like light. Uh, man of God, before you turn the light on your, your, your eyes, your lens has focused. Bible says, your health shall spring forth speedily. Speedily, I pray for somebody right now the doctor might have told you something a fear has come in your heart may the lord send you divine assistance i agree with pastor Yuda this morning in the presence on this altar i decree and declare a speedy turnaround we ask for a reversal every word spoken that has caused you to be in fear may the lord overturn we saw yesterday by esther chapter 9 verse 1 that on the same day that Haman and his cohorts had desire to destroy israel god sent help and not the day after Man of God, it would have been of no effect the day after. The same day, they said today we are about to annihilate mm. in Acts chapter 12. Uh, when the mm. church prayed, uh, the Bible says that same night uh, uh, God sent deliverance and help for Peter. Not the day after. A uh, child of God, your help will not be later. I say your help will not be later. Your help will not be later. Your help will not be later. Uh, God will send it at the right time. Right now, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I declare over somebody in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. May 
may God send you help. Oh my God. I pray may God send you help. I pray may God send you help. I want to declare some things over somebody this morning. Every power of the enemy, man of God, uh, this giant was boasting. Uh, I'm sure in his head he was saying that, ah, uh, David, I've got you. I'm about to finish you. He did not know that God had a way out. Uh, uh, God will make a way out. Uh, I declare every enemy that is boasting over your downfall in the name of the Lord Jesus. Uh, may the Lord disgrace them. May the Lord send you help uh, in the name. May the Lord silence their mouth uh, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Uh, every power of darkness, uh, every prince of pressure opposing your answers uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus. May there be reinforcement now in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Uh, I pray for somebody uh, what the Lord has in store for you is the good treasure. Every power of darkness uh, uh, causing a delay may there be a release now a uh, divine assistance. You say Pastor I've cried uh, for far too long. Uh, I pray for you uh, uh, because you have come weeping. Uh, may you go back rejoicing uh, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Man of God we have read before Revelation chapter 3 verse 7 the Bible said this thing said he who is holy oh the one that is holy he says he that is true he says he that had the key of David he says he that open it yes, mm. and no man shut it every man that has purpose in their heart that you will not see help I pray by Revelation chapter 3 verse 7 may the Lord overturn may the door that God has opened for you upon this platform in your household in this season we said this is the season of abundance a divine uh, help may you receive yours may every door that the Lord has preordained for you let it be open this morning in the name of the Lord Jesus man of God this is so profound uh, when the, the, it, imagine that the, the giant had this new sword and said, I'm about to finish you. And David, where will you go? And moreover, uh, David was faint. There was no strength in his body. A child of God, you reach some point in your life. Uh, you have tried all your best. He said, I, 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 don't, I don't know how I'm going to make it. Don't you see, it's at that time uh, that the enemy come after you. They come to accuse you. Oh, when, when, when you are at your weakest point, uh, listen to me. Uh, uh, we, we don't want to be too over spiritual. Man of God, sometimes we get tired. Uh, uh, you, you know, uh, after we have prayed and fasted and seek the face of the Lord, it is in those seasons. Uh, oh, I have my special prayer warrior that you know when I'm that tired, I say get ready because I know by the time I close my eyes, they will want to come and, 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 and fight because they know their body is physically weak. I saw somebody, I pray for you. If you are faint right now, I listen, Bible says, they that wait upon the Lord. But Isaiah chapter 40 verse 10, they shall renew their strength. Right now, may the Lord send you help that your strength will be renewed. He said, Pastor, I've applied everywhere. I cannot receive a response. I don't give up yet. Don't throw in the towel. They that wait upon the Lord, he shall renew their strength. Uh, you will mount up on wings as eagles. Uh, now, man of God, listen, eagles are a powerful, a powerful reference for you and I. Uh, a man of God, eagles can fly through any storm. Uh, uh, eagles do not hide when the storm comes. Oh, did you hear that? I said eagles don't hide when the storm comes. It will dis it can decide a couple of things. I will fly over the storm or I will fly through the storm. Did you hear me? The Bible, com Bible compares you to that. He said when you wait upon the Lord, you will become like an eagle. He says you will mount upon wings like an eagle. I declare your storms, you will fly over. Your storms, you will fly through. Man of God, let's say the eagle has a divine protection upon the eye that it can cover the eye that nothing can hit the So when it's flying through the storm, it can see oh my it can it has a wind spin thank you uh it can see to the storm i pray your, your your eyesight will not be obscure may you see every storm may you see every enemy are uh, coming after you man of god moreover but i said the ego can see from a far distance uh, may you see your enemy from afar and uh, may you be averted every yeah. enemy that will come your way uh, this morning i declare upon this platform that no enemy will prevail the lord will send you help the lord send help Amen. To David, man of God, yeah. not once but many times. Yes. I read that come when mm. uh, Absalom I rebel against his daddy. The Lord sent him help. Oh, when they, when when the father forgot about him, the brothers forgot about him. The Lord sent help. The Lord said, Samuel, you cannot anoint any one of these. Only the one that I've chosen. Mm. Uh, when Goliath thought he had David, the Lord sent help. God will send somebody help this morning, and may it be immediate. Amen. My prayer is it will be immediate. A speedy response. Uh, man of God, when, when, when the prophet of God said tomorrow by this time, he said tomorrow by this time, there's about to be an overflow. Uh, not two days, tomorrow. Before the sunrise, there will be an overflow. Man of God, it took four lepers that did not hear for God to speak, God to hasten his word to perform. This morning, I pray that may your divine connectors find you suddenly. May your divine sustainers come to your aid.
May the ones God has ordained upon this earth, may they locate you and find you by the special grace of the Lord. A child of God, fear thee not. God has a word for you this morning and the servant of God has released it. I pray for divine assistance to locate you. Man of God, divine takes out of the natural. Although you will use natural men, but it's a system that comes from God. And those assistants that come from God, I can tell you, it, it, it does not have a shelf life. What do I mean? Man, man of God, shelf life, if you look on any product, it will tell you it will expire at this time. God helps does not expire. Yes. Hey, yes. man of God, how, how do I know? I, I remember the account of the Israelites in the wilderness, man of God. It says all the years they spent in the wilderness, for 40 years, God sustained them. He fed them. For 40 years. I was saying, their clothes that they wore, man of God, their clothes grew with them because their clothes did not wear off. I, I'm yet to see 40 yes. year old clothes. What kind of help mm. is that? Man of God, so I'm assuming that uh, as some of them were growing, their clothes was growing with them supernaturally. That is help. He says, You guys are not going yes, to spend sir. your money. Your money will not be wasted. Man of God, their shoes were growing with their children. Their clothes were still brand new. It was mm. not ragged. Oh, you, you try some of your clothes from uh, 10, 15 years ago. It, they don't look the same. But God said, For 40 years. He kept them. Mm. Their clothes were still fresh. May you continue to be fresh. The Lord will send you divine help Amen. this morning. But we want to pray now before we close. If you don't know Christ, we want to point you to him in the name of the Lord Jesus. Uh, all that we do upon this platform is to point you to Christ. He's the author, finisher of our faith. He's the one that will save you. Say, uh, come, let us reason together. Man of God, I keep reading that scripture. It, God, the creator of the heaven and earth, said, come, let us reason together. Uh, 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 David wrote, he says, what is man in some aid? That you are so mindful of him. What, what is upon this man? Because we're made in his image. Uh, what is this man that you could come down from uh, your throne of glory and lay down your life in, in such a, a, a demeaning manner? What is man? That Satan and his cohort sin, you, you punish them to hell. But when we uh, 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 rebel against you, you made a provision for us. What is man? You are important in the eyes of God. Hell was not made for you. Did you hear me? Mm. It was not designed. That's not your address. Heaven is your place of abode. Did you hear me? And he wants you. He has made a way. Say, I am the way, the truth, and the life. If you don't know Christ this morning, can you pray this prayer? Say, Lord Jesus, thank you. The help is coming for me. I'm not going to throw in. I will not align with the enemy. I ask you into my heart to be my Lord and to be my Savior and to wash me thoroughly from all my sin and purify me. I give you thanks and I honor you for reconciling me back to the Father that my name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Somebody say me. Amen. Blessings, blessings, blessings. Hallelujah. Tomorrow, man of God, is, is Good Friday. Oh, wow. Yes, sir. Good Friday. Somebody get ready. It didn't say bad Friday, it said good Friday. Get ready for news. Get ready for a report that God will give you that will cause your enemies to stand in awe. May God send you deliverance even right now. So please get ready. We'll be online Amen. tomorrow morning. Again, Pastor Yudo will be here by the special grace of God and will come. Let's spend some time in the presence of the Lord and give him praise for the great work that he's done for you. Please remember to send in your testimonies. Use the same email, prayers at sunlightradio.com and send in your prayer requests as well. We're still praying for you. It's still upon the altar. There's so many. Send in your prayer requests and don't feel shy at all. Yes. There's a grace upon this altar. Um, man of God, we're not boasting, but in these days, it's one touch prayer. We pray and God answers. So don't be shy. We, we hear all the testimonies. Once we pray, we talk to God. God will answer you. Uh, we have agreed with God on that 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 that, that man. Happy hey, yes, today is Thursday, right? My God, my God! Before I get in trouble, <laughs> ah, people of God, yes, yes, yes. This is Thursday. Wow, Pastor, you know, thank you for pulling this one out. Uh, one of our our, our, our uh, listeners here, truly, truly an awesome woman of God, uh, Vicky Tiwi. Today is her birthday. I can't believe that she only just turned in 21. Hallelujah. So please, let's wish Vicky happy birthday. Uh, Vicky, we we'll see you. God bless you. God bless you. Uh, she's my, uh, my, 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 my classmate but she's just 21 i don't know how that is possible uh, she retrogressing wonderful 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 woman of god so please let's wish vicky a happy happy birthday god bless you vicky we may his grace may he send you a speedy response and answer so all cumin orioles please wish vicky to you a happy birthday let's put it there say happy happy birthday woman of god happy happy birthday in jesus name please remember to pray for pastor Clarence. pray for pastor you know it is important yes please very important 
Lift up prayer for us in Jesus' name. Amen. And we bless God for your life. Let's get ready for Good Friday. It's going to be an awesome time in the presence of the Lord. Come on, bring somebody, bring a loved one, bring a friend. Share the stream. Like the stream. Watch it over and over again. Somebody needs to hear this. Somebody needs an encouragement. Child of God, listen, the world is in trouble. You and I need to be that, 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 that reference point to show them that there is a Savior that is here to save. So share the stream on your platform, on any platform you are on, WhatsApp group. Please share it in Jesus' name. You all have a blessed, blessed, and we truly mean blessed rest of your day. And we shall see you all tomorrow morning by the special grace of God. In Jesus' name, and Sister Bucky, all the way from uh, Guyana, God bless you. The Lord has heard your cry. As many of you that are sending your, your prayer request, the Lord has heard your cry. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And I God want to go out with this one now. God will turn it around. Pastor Edwin, that's it. Hallelujah. I see God turn it around for you. Are you here? Sing. God of miracles. Before. In a moment, you turn it around for a God of miracles. You are incredible. What seems impossible. In a moment, yeah, yeah. let's go. In the moment, if you turn it, you turn it around for me. 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 In a moment, you turn it around for me. I think I'll do it in a moment for your life. Everybody come on, everybody come on. Come on. Let's lift this breeze up.
May the Lord turn it around for you this morning. We give the Lord praise. Divine assistance, speedy with divine assistance is coming to you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Blessings, blessings, blessings. Shalom, shalom, shalom to each and every one of you. See you all tomorrow morning. Please share, like, in Jesus' name. In the moment, God will turn it around for you.